Hey, it's Alex Allman, and I am here with one crucial, crucial tip on how to improve your relationship. This one is not optional, and it works 100% of the time to make your relationship so much stronger, so much more trusting, so much more loving, so much juicier and more passionate. It's a very, very simple rule, but you gotta actually follow it. Remember your lovers first. What do I mean by that? I mean that it's great if you've got a great friendship. It's great to have emotional support. It's great to be parents together. It's great to uh, have the same interests and be great buddies. And it's great that you have to deal with the stresses of managing a life together. If you guys live together, somebody's got to wash dishes, somebody's got to take out the trash, somebody's got to pay rent. You're in the business of life together. If you can negotiate that peacefully and not get into too many fights about that, great, all great. Lovers first. And in fact, if you're lovers first, you're going to find that fighting and bickering about all of that life business stuff kind of goes away. It's not that necessarily you still disagree. It's just that those disagreements are really unimportant if you're lovers first. Friendship, again, friendship, beautiful, important, important for trust. Trust, obviously essential. But like you've got friends like your friend Bill and you and Bill never have pillow fights, right? But you and your lover must. That's right. Pillow fights, not optional. Tickle fights, not optional. Slipping your arms around her, kissing her neck, stroking her hair, smelling her, taking her in. And if you're a woman, by the way, this relationship is 100% appropriate for you too because other than in men's fantasies, you don't have a pillow fight with your girlfriends either though though we do like to fantasize about that. No, it's not happening there. But when you sneak up on your man and you, uh, you know, spit water at him in the bathroom and start a tickle fight and you do that mischievous stuff that we don't do with our friends, that we do with our lovers, then that is the stuff. When you put your hands on his chest, put your face against his chest, smell in his masculine smells, same thing, whether you're a man or you're a woman, lovers first. It's such a powerful tip. And if you just keep it in your brain, you won't probably run into the question of, well, exactly how do I be a lover first? I think you know. I think you can feel it. You can navigate it and negotiate it for yourself. It's about really feeling your uh, attraction and your sense that your woman is a woman. Your man is a man and really uh, enjoying that fact. And obviously, if you want more advice on specifically how to be a lover, well, kind of what I do for a living, come on over to my website. I got a ton of free stuff over there that I love for you to check out from my love assessment quiz, which will generate a custom report of exactly how to improve your love life to all kinds of other free reports on improving sex, improving relationship, communication, blog posts, and more. And of course, you could subscribe to my newsletter and get even more free stuff. It's all over at the website. So uh, I hope you'll, uh, you'll go check that out now.